In general, they, they are COVID ready. They have um, adequate spacings. They have screening on entry. Uh, we have a few recommendations in terms of making our signage a bit larger. Yes, so that persons see right off as soon as they enter all the symptoms they should be aware of and what they should declare. Basically 98% of the recommendations that were made uh, we have already had in place. However, COVID had just uh, put a pause on a lot of things, but generally we are both on the same track. So we are hopeful that um, we can work along with the Ministry of Health to better provide uh, services for the patients, especially if we do end up getting a COVID patient that both ourselves and the ministry are ready to deal with a situation like that. The staff in general, they, they seem very well prepared and very much aware of the COVID situation and what's necessary. And for that, we're happy as well, because of course, it's not just about the facility, but the awareness of the staff. <laughs> Because once you have the staff being aware, they would ensure that the persons coming in are also adhering to all the different regulations that you have to adhere to. We do have quite a wide age range for patients. Our youngest patient is in their early 20s, and we do have our oldest patient uh, early 80s. But we do find that the average uh, age range that we get for our patients are anywhere from 45 to 60. Uh, and a lot of those are based on uh, lifestyle diseases uh, or hereditary. So um, we try to advise persons through the Kidney Foundation, if you do know that a family member would have had kidney failure, that you yourself should start getting checked as often as possible to see if it's uh, based on hereditary or if it's based on maybe a lifestyle disease. We're also putting uh, measures in place to reopen our medical tourism industry. We know it's going to be extremely difficult, but we are working tirelessly to make sure that that happens. In regards to the welfare and the safety of the patients as well, we are also making sure that we do everything possible in order to raise the standard and keep it at an international standard. So at our soon as possible, time frame we are going to be reopening for traveling patients but we will have to do that in conjunction with the ministry of of health because um, we've been getting a lot of calls uh, everybody wants to come home everybody wants to visit everybody wants to check up on their family members so i would say just give us uh, some patience and eventually you patients would be able to come home we do have at least one more seating for patients now uh, compared to the smaller facility that we had, so we were able to accommodate them as they come in much easier.